things are expensive. Democrats are in charge. So people are going to vote for Republicans because they assume they're going to fix it. But we should be very clear before you do that, that they won't fix it. They don't have a single plan to fix it. They can't even really pretend they can fix it because inflation is a global phenomenon. To give you an idea, inflation in the U.S. is around 8.3%. In the U.K., it's at 10.1%. The inflation rate in the European Union is at 10.9%. Joe Biden and the Democrats are not in charge in any of those other places. But say you want an example of leadership more aligned with the Republicans. Hungary, for example, who the GOP had their leader, Viktor Orban, as the keynote speaker at not one, but two of their conferences this year. The leader who everyone on the far right, from Fox News to Trump himself, has been touting as the type of leadership America should be embracing. Hungary is at a 24-year high at 20.1%. So maybe destroying your free press and running your nation like an intolerant fascist hellscape for anyone who isn't white, straight, and Christian doesn't actually benefit the economy. Inflation is high because we had a once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic that royally screwed with our supply chain. We're living through a wholly unnecessary war in Ukraine because Russian leadership believes they can just take over a sovereign nation because they want to, and that's royally screwed with our supply chain. And because corporations and retailers are taking advantage of the idea of inflation to raise their prices and gouge the consumer, assuming you will blame the government instead of them. But when you see that corporations are reporting the highest profit margins in 70 years, you get a better idea of who's really to blame for inflation, and it's not the government. Which is why switching who's in charge of the government won't fix it. Corporate greed is exacerbated by the lack of regulations that have allowed an increasingly shrinking number of conglomerates using their monopolies to mark up prices like a cartel, knowing the consumer can't do anything about it because there's no real competition in the market. The Republicans certainly aren't going to do anything about that because those are their donors. They're the party of deregulation and free market. They're the party who wants to add to the high cost of living by repealing the Democrats' bill that lowered drug prices and made corporations pay a minimum corporate tax rate. They are the ones suing to stop student loan forgiveness, and they're the ones who wrote a plan to get rid of Social Security and Medicare. The Republicans aren't going to fix inflation. They're just going to make sure you have less money on top of all of it. Also, if I may, even if the Republicans had the ability to lower inflation, how much are cheaper goods worth to you? Is 40 cents less for a box of cereal worth your democracy? Is a dollar less for a gallon of gas worth forcing children to have their rapist babies? Is a thousand dollar savings on a used car worth your parents losing their earned benefits that help them stay autonomous? You have to be smart with your vote. And expecting a party that adds to the deficit every year and continues to give tax breaks and perks and support to the very people causing inflation to be the people to fix inflation is a fool's errand. And I know you're no fool.